In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the advanced setup for the solitary mode of Lock Up a Role Player Tale. So pull up a chair and let me show you how to do it. The first thing you want to make sure you do when you're setting up for Lock Up a Role Player Tale is to make sure that you're on the right side of the board because there's a one and two player side and a three to five player side. And so obviously in the solitary mode, you want to be on the one or two player side and that's what we have. And then you want to make sure the little crown is on the, um, round, the round one space. And so it is. And then we don't have the cube set out right now. That's step three, but we'll have those when we get ready for the playthrough, that video that's coming up later. And then step four, we got the item deck. And step five is the item display. And this is going to be important. The reason why I'm going through these steps, because I because this is hopefully going to help some new players or players that haven't played with the advanced setup or haven't played solitary mode. I'm hopefully, hopefully I'm going to be able to help you uh, set the game up correctly. And so maybe it'll be informative, but... But step five of setup is item display. So you want to go ahead and do that. And so we'll have a spell slinger, which is worth 10 points. We'll have a crooked pipe, which is worth four. And then we're going to have a precious collection, which is going to be worth eight points. And so that's going to be our item display when we get ready to play the game. And then um, we'll have the goon deck, and it's right over here. It's been shuffled just like the item deck has been shuffled. It's already been shuffled. And so we're going to go ahead and seed the board with our goons. And we'll start over here with the chow hall. It's going to be a hobgoblin over there. And then a rat man. And then a bandit. And then a dwarf. And then another rat man. So those are the five goons that come out. And they're going to be our active goons. And then we're going to have to place suspicion tokens where they go. And uh, give me a second, I'll go get those. Okay, so you use 12 suspicion cubes when you're playing any game of Lock Up or Role Player Tale. And so let's go ahead and put the cubes out. This rat man's going to drop two in the sewers. This dwarf is going to drop one up here in the infirmary. The bandit's going to drop one in the smithy. And he's also going to drop in the smithy a potion and that's what that means over here next to the uh, word bandit this blue cube so he's going to drop that and then this rat man's going to drop two suspicion and the commissary and this hobgoblin over here will drop one in the chow hall and so we got a lot of cubes already out early in the game and so that's uh, their suspicion cubes and now the tome deck is shuffled and set up it's ready to go Okay, so step 10 of setup is that you put your crew board out in front of you on the table. Well, as you can see, I, I have the guards uh, board out, but I don't have my crew board. And that's because I haven't picked a crew yet because I want to show you the advanced side of each one of the boards and show you the different ones you could be. And so as you can see, you can be the nulls. And by the way, this B down here tells you that this is the side you need to be on. And of course, it says advanced setup. So that's how you know. But you can be the Nulls, you can be the Kobolds, the Insectoids, the Goblins, or the Bugbears. Now, one of the things I want you to notice about the Goblins and the Bugbears, the Goblins, their advanced setup says, start the game with one Goon card drawn from the Goon deck. And the Bugbear says, start the game with one reserved item card drawn from the item deck. Now, the reason why I wanted to go so slow through setup is because some new players may get one of those two, the goblins and the bugbears. And so, for example, the goblins, they may get them and say, well, when do we draw our goon card? Do we do it before we put them out on the board or do we do it after we put them out on the board? And the answer is you, do, you draw the goon card after you seed the board with the active goons because as you it's set up, that's what happened. Uh, set up step five is to put the items out here and the item display set up step seven was to put the goons out and set up step step 10 was to put your crew board out into play. And so by the time you put your, your crew board into play, you've already got the cards on the table. And so, again, if you get the goblins or the bugbears, you draw their card after you put the goons on the table and the items on the table. Okay, so I'm going to be picking my 
crew at random. And I've got a cup right here, a red cup with all the tokens in it, all five tokens. So let me shake it up and go in here and pull mine out. And I'm going to be pulling out the red one and that's the bugbears. And so that is who I'll be playing. So I'll get the bugbear board. And as you remember from the advanced setup right here, um, I'll start the game with one reserved item card drawn from the item deck. And I'll do that in a second, but let me put that into play. And then I need to go get the tokens to put them with the bugbears. All right, so I got the six tokens out for the bugbears. And now once you get your crew board out and the crew tokens, you set your reputation marker onto the playing board. Well, um, one of the things you need to know about advanced setup in the normal game, you put your token on the 10 space, but in the advanced setup, the players always go on the zero space. So I'll put my red token there and then I'm going to use the blue token to represent the guards. And in the solitary mode, if you're playing with the advanced setup in solitary mode, the guards don't go in the 10 space as normal. The guards go on the 20 space. And so they have a 20 point lead at the beginning of the game. And so that's how that works. So now I, once we get those set, um, I'm going to go ahead and, and do what I'm supposed to do for my bugbears. Now I want you to notice at the top, they can hold six resources at the end of the round, which is uh, normally it's five. So there you go a little bit more. And then here at the start, I get six uh, reputation points. So I move up to six. And so hooray, I'm only 14 behind now instead of 20. And then as you remember, I draw a starting item from the deck and it's going to be a reserve. So I draw it from the top of the deck here and it'll be a Verta Blade 13 and has a shield valuable. And so that'll be reserved. I'll put that face down next to my board. And then uh, if you notice at the bottom of the board here for the bugbears, I get a power cube, but I also start the game with a suspicion cube. And so it's different for each one of the ones in advanced. Some of them don't start with a power cube or suspicion. Some start with just a power cube. And, and so it can be different and variable down here, but I get a power cube and a suspicion cube. And so right away, there's only four cubes left in the um, supply over here and I'm already in the lead on suspicion cubes, but I do also get a power cube to start the game. Okay, now I also get some traits that I can use for my board from this deck of traits right here. But before I pick the traits in, in the game, I have to get the end game goals, the leader gold and the end game. So I've already shuffled this and I'll draw the end game one. And it's going to be Smith, which says that game men have the most items with an iron cost. Okay, so that's going to be in the game. And then the leader goal is going to be heavily armed. So take this card if you currently have the most shield valuables. You have to have at least two, though, to be able to take it. So that's going to be the leader goal. So once you get the goals, then you take a trait. I draw two traits and I'll pick one. So the two traits that I drew are envious and selfish. So let's look at envious first. It can give me uh, a scrap or a potion or an iron. And then I get a scrap and two um, tome cards. So that looks pretty good because I'd like to start the game off with some resources. I think that would be good, especially since I already have an item. And so that might do that one or selfish. Start the game with two goon cards drawn from the goon deck and I get a suspicion cube. Well, I already get, I've already got one suspicion cube and I don't know that I want another one. It would be nice to get two goons though to start the game. Uh, and this game, and this at the end of the game will give me two points and this will give me two points. So I can do self, I can be selfish bugbears or I can be envious bugbears. And I think I want the resources. So I'm going to put the selfish back. And so I'm going to be an envious, I'm going to be envious bugbears. Okay. And so the guards always start with the first player token. And so that's going to be set up. Now I'm going to go ahead and seed the board with the guard cards that go at each one of the locations. So we have one at the exercise yard, the sewers, the infirmary, the smithy, the commissary, and the chow hall.
and the cell block. Okay, and so we'll have those, and then I've got the location cards, we'll have those when the game starts. Now I'm going to go ahead and resolve my Envious card. And so I know I said a minute ago that uh, you get the two points later in the game, at the end of the game, but I think you go ahead and get them now. So they'll go ahead and go from six to eight. And then I can take a scrap, a potion, or an iron. And I think I'm going to take an iron for that top part. And then I get a scrap and I get it to draw two tome cards. And so my scrap go right there. And then I'll draw two tome cards. The first one is going to be return one of your suspicion cubes to the supply. Okay, that's good. And then the other one, return one of your assigned crew tokens to your holding cell. And so those will be my tome cards that I get for Envious. And so that's the setup. I'm going to be doing a playthrough of the advanced setup on the solitary mode on moderate difficulty. And so that playthrough will be following this video, not far from this video. And so be sure to hit the notification bell so you know when the playthrough is coming out. And also, please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, look forward to seeing you when we do the playthrough. Have a nice day.